trying to find a wall stud to hang something like one of your favorite pictures or a shelf, if you don't know what you're doing, it can be a tricky and daunting thing to do. And a quick search on the old Googleizer and you're bound to find a host of stud detecting ideas out there. Now, if you've got the cash, you can fork out $50 plus for a half decent stud finder, which are pretty good, but don't be seduced by the cheaper priced ones as they're unpredictable and more trouble and frustrating than they're worth. If you feel confident, you can even remove a light switch or even a power point down below, because generally these are attached to a stud. So once you find out where that stud is, then just simply measure back the regulation stud spacing to find the next one. But just remember, whenever you're working with electricity, to go to the switchboard first and turn the mains power off, because we don't want you getting zapped. And of course, a crowd favorite, it can't go past the good old knocking on the wall trick. <laughs> Seriously, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> mm. G'day folks, Uncle Nackers here from DIY for Knuckleheads and welcome to episode two in my workshop hacks, tips and tricks video series. Now, if we can just shove those stud finding methods to one side just for a moment, I'm going to show you one now, when after you see it, you're gonna be scratching your head thinking, why hadn't I thought of that before? It is so obvious. So are you ready? This is my secret stud finding hack, and I'm going to make it as simple as possible for you. So what you need to understand, for those that don't know, is that drywall, plasterboard, sheetrock, all those types of products, they're all attached to the wall studs behind the wall with metal fasteners like a screw or a nail. And what's attracted to a metal fastener? A magnet. Yep, that is my secret stud finding hack. It's as simple as that and I'll show you how to use it. Now the first thing you need to do is to buy one of these rare earth magnets, at least one inch in diameter and a quarter of an inch thick. Now these are the world's strongest magnets. So the ones that you have on your fridge at home, they won't be strong enough. And on the back, all I've done is stuck some felt to it, which you can buy in sheets with a sticky back, and that will help prevent the magnet from scratching the wall surface. Now just a quick reminder that I am running a competition in this video to win a really cool prize. So if you want to be in it, make sure you watch right through to the end of the video to pick up some vital clues that you'll need to answer a few simple questions. Okay. The next thing you need to know is that in most new homes built today, the wall stud spacing is 450 millimeters or 16 inch on center, which simply means from the center of one stud to the center of the next stud is 450 millimeters or 16 inches. And finally, that sheets of plasterboard, drywall, sheetrock, they normally come in 1200 millimeter or four foot wide sheets that are usually installed horizontally. Now this is where the fun starts. With your tape measure from the floor, measure up roughly 1200 millimeters or four feet and I've placed a bit of tape on the wall there as a reference point, just so you can see what I'm doing. Now that we know our height, along that line there, and within a gap of about that, we'll get our magnet, run it up and down the wall with the felt side to the plasterboard until we hit a fastener. Let's give it a go. Okay, let's give it a crack with the felt facing the drywall or the plasterboard. We'll just run this up and down that seam, which is basically where the two sheets meet. So we'll do that up and down, just keep going along the wall. And bang. The magnet has found a fastener, which means we have found a stud. How easy was that? Let's mark that with some tape and we'll keep on going. So my rights from this stud here, if we come across 450 millimeters or 16 inches, we should find ourselves another stud. So if we can just roughly do that, we go across our 450 or 16 inches, which is about there, and now we'll get our fancy magnetic stud finder up and down the wall, just like that, and bang. 
we've found ourselves another stud. How easy is that? And the best thing is, is that it's small, it doesn't need batteries or calibrating. What more do you want? Now, if you want something a little fancier, I stumbled across this really cool little magnetic stud finder a few years ago. It's called the Stud Pop, and for the record, I have no commercial agreement with this company whatsoever. It's just a really cool little product, and this is what you can win in the competition at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that one. Alrighty, I'll show you how it works. Now the stud pop uses the same principle of magnetic attraction, but the difference is when it finds a metal fastener, the indicator moves and clicks into position. Now that is pretty cool. Now I reckon that little ripper deserves a great tip, knackers. Oh, by the way, speaking of magnets, so I take it out the other day, I bought a brand new fridge magnet. I'm really pleased with it. Yeah. So far I've picked up 12 fridges. Now before I head off and make myself a cup of tea, I want to announce my latest competition where you can win one of these cracking little Uncle Knackers approved stud pop stud finders. So to qualify for the competition, you need to be a subscriber to my channel as well as having that notification bell ticked. So if you haven't done that yet, do it now. So all you need to do is to answer the next three simple questions correctly and leave the answers in the comments section down below. And what I'll do is in my next video, I'll crank up the old random comment selector gizmo and pick the winner from that. So make sure you watch the next video to see if you bring home the chocolates. Question one, what type of magnet did I use for my homemade stud finder? Question number two, what is the name of the magnetic stud finder that you can buy that has that little indicator? And finally, question three, in millimeters or inches, in a house, what is the standard stud spacing? Good luck in the competition, and I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And if you did, a big thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Alrighty, after all that, I think I really do need a cup of tea. So till next time, don't forget to wash your hands, be good, be safe, and I'm out of here. Cheers.